since about week nine of his first season of the 2021 season, he's been one of the best wide receivers in the entire NFL. Yep. Call it what you want. It doesn't look like a traditional number one. He has been so productive. And now Kool-Aid, yes, now sir. KG and JB, there's a rumor going around. There's actually, actually, I don't know if it's just a rumor. Uh, Cam Marino at Marino NFL says from a source, there's a, a, a contract extension being talked about right now for at least three years and at least $25 million per year. So there aren't a ton of details out about the negotiations. It could be four, it could be five years. But that $25 million a year mark mm -hmm. is is what the word around town is right now. What do you guys think of that? Are you giving him twenty five mil a year? Give Pay him whatever man. he wants. Pay that yes, man. Yes, yes. That man his money. Give him give, the GM building if he wants it to. Yeah. <laughs> Sheesh, man. Like give him a give him a whole line of like Fords. Just let him go there and pick out like five Ford cars and let him go home with that as well. Take a Shelby. As, as it relates to Amara St. Brown. I've seen people on both sides of the fences here saying, pay that man. I've also seen people say, well, no, you can get somebody in the draft or free agency who's Stupid. cheaper that will bring his same level of mm -hmm. productivity. Amon Ross St. Brown is not just about what you think his productivity Tell is. Tell He's him, about Floyd. the type of person he is, the type of worker he is, the way that he fits in with the city. You want to talk about grit. You want to talk about somebody overlooked. You want to talk about somebody passed by. He gets that type of stuff. He's going to be one of those guys that outworks and outworks everybody. It's not just about his stats, man. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's the type of people that you want in this locker room. That's why I am I am so grateful to Brad Holmes for that press conference he did and for the types of players that he picks because it's not just about what you think, how fast a person is, how tall you think a person is, what you might think his skills are. It's about how this person fits into this locker room and fits into this jersey. Because this jersey represents us. We know how we feel as Detroit Tell Lions fans. We've had players here. We've had talented players here. We know that. They don't, they don't really fit. We've had talented players on the Tigers, on the Lions, on the Pistons, on the Wings. And when they don't fit and when they don't vibe, man, it's not right. We've had talented players here and they haven't won. Mm -hmm. You got a guy here right now who's been part of leading this renaissance and this kind of changeover. This, my attitude is not what we were before or what the Lions were before, but it's about where we are headed and it's about the work that I know we're going to put in and about being one of those guys that everybody else in the locker room respects. Mm -hmm. Man, this stuff, you talk about those intangibles, man. That's it. This guy, you pay him for a lot more than what you think he's doing just on the field, but also the, t the individual he is off the field, the individual he is in that locker room. Pay that man his money. Pay that man his money. Pay that man his money. It's true. He And he has produced on the field. That's the thing. He KG, has. he's shown up. He's put mm -hmm. the numbers up. And he's been that that model in the locker room of, of what these young guys, we've seen Jamison Williams just continue to elevate his game through working hard, through hitting yep, that yep. jugs machine, through getting extra time in with Jared Goff. That's the type of of role I mean, he, he it's more than just a wide receiver yeah you know? absolutely and he's a consummate professional one of the hardest workers in allen park and i just can't state in enough this guy <laughs> i know right <laughs> and i just can't state enough that this guy was a fourth round pick and he's become your number one receiver like i remember there was a point in time where we kept trying to figure out who's going to be the number one who's going to be the number one we had our number one the whole time and it, it's this yeah. guy um and you just you gotta you gotta look out for him but you looking at twenty five million dollars a year for a star number one receiver? That's relatively cheap, guys. Yes, I think he gets mm -hmm. it. I think he understands. Look, if I take a little off the top here, they're gonna help me get more talent on this team, and they're gonna push this team forward. So I'm looking forward to to what this actually, you know, uh, results in. But twenty five million a year, man, that's a good price tag. Hey, Mister Voice of Reason, <laughs> I need your thoughts on this one. You know what? Sign Amara to however much money you want. Because <laughs> I'm, telling you, I'm telling you right now, this guy is going to be the focal point of your team. Not only with everything that he's done for this team, but also just the mindset that this guy has. Like yes, like we still constantly remember him saying, "Hey, I know all of the names that got drafted before me," and you just feel for the guy. You feel like this is that blue collar, hard working player that you want to represent not only your team. But hell, the city at the same time as well, too. He's going to be one of those guys that are going to be on the Detroit sports Mount Rushmore when it's all mm, said and done. And I love yeah. that. Hey, pay this man whatever he wants right now. That's what Herb Nash says. Pay that man his money. Shane D says 100. Slow Herb. Clap. Slow clap. How about this? Stephen Baffey, they could give him a six year deal, and I would be fine with it. Stephen Baffey also said another good. Oh, grit is not flashy. Actually, this is in response to Eduardo O'Neill. People don't want to pay Amon Ra because he's not flashy like Chase. If he was flashy, everyone would say pay him. Yep. 
It's called for, it's called first in Amonra for, for oh first in Amonra for a reason. Then Stephen Baffy follows up. Grit is not flashy. He is our kind of flashy, and that what? is what matters. It's the truth. He does what's asked of him, man. He does what this team needs. That's what we've talked about. These types of players, how versatile they are, not just in terms of the positions they play, but in terms of being ready to step up to whatever challenge that the coaches have asked of them. And I want a guy on my squad who doesn't have a plateau. We've seen guys that kind of reach this air, this rarefied air, and sometimes they just kind of stay there. Mm -hmm. Amon Rock continues to work to get better. It's like, wait, but you're already a number one. How many more records can my records break? Amon Ross, the guy that's not going to ask that. He's going to say, I need to break more records. I want that guy on my squad. You talk about the young players you're bringing into this room. You're talking about the other free agents you're bringing into this room. I want them to be able to look at the people at the top of this organization as it relates to these players, our top players, and know we got to outwork these guys. That's why I kind of like CJ GJ's comments of, I'm not here to split time. If it happens, it happens. But there's going to be pressure on everybody to rise to the level of occasion of mm -hmm. greatness. That's what I want out of my players here. The production has to be there. Yes, we want that. But when you got a guy whose mindset and mentality is greatness to the point that we all sat here when he got left off the pro ball and said, well, whatever, he'll still be an all-pro. I was waiting to hear his comments because I thought he was going to say, well, it's a popularity contest. Did he say that? No. Huh. He mm. was getting dressed in the locker room heated. Uh, your, your video. So, via Matt Broder. Holla. I got to credit you. What up, though? He was in there like, no, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. Why? Because he knows what's his and he's coming to eat the whole plate and then anybody else will say, hey, you going to leave those leftovers out? That's mine, too. That's what I love about him, man. He takes greatness. Talk to him. And I want everybody on this Detroit Lions team to be able to see that on a daily basis, man. Is this what the kind of player you want? Shane D says, Ra is a starter that plays like he's on the practice squad trying to make the team. Yes. Every day. Mm -hmm. Every day. Yes. Couldn't have said it better, yes. Shane D. Yes. I, I get inspired by Amon Ross St. Brown. Man, when we were putting this graphic together, I was just sitting here like, man. Like, yeah, Amon Ross St. Brown is inspiring us to go out here and try and be better, just better people in general. I I, I like who Amon Ross St. Brown is. I love, like, you, you. I look across the spectrum, man. We've been Detroit Lions fans, and you've heard this from everybody, our whole entire lives, man. I didn't get the same vibes from when we drafted people like, you know, we got uh, Roy Williams in here. <laughs> yeah. I, I just didn't get that. That's the first down, right? It was yeah, exciting. Just, just, it was kind of a sexy pick, just, sexy just signing. Yeah, nah. it, didn't, it didn't work. This works perfectly. This works perfectly with this team. And KG, you were talking $25 million. I think, this is my opinion, that's a bargain. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Like, oh, yeah. I, I believe he's a $30 million type of receiver, and if he asked for it, I'd say give it to him. But if you can get him for 25 mil, even if it's for three years, which is a relatively short contract, maybe that fits into the plan of, of not really overpaying for wide receivers. Mm -hmm. Again, I, th I think he's more than that, and I'd be fine with the five-year contract. But three-year 25 is, is nothing.